y'all. Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Yes, I'm wearing the same exact thing that you saw me in yesterday because for me it's still today. Yeah. Uh, no notebook look today. I'm so sorry. I just have not had the time with crazy work and stuff and apparently with shopping. Oh, yes, because it's time for another haul. And it's a weird haul. I've got a haul from different places, some different things. If you saw the thumbnail, you saw some yarn. If you saw my community tab, you also saw some yarn. So uh, we'll get to the yarn here in just a smidge. First, went to Pop Shelf. Yes, I know not everybody has a Pop Shelf around them, but it's really fun and cool. Um, I got a self-healing mat, the kind that you use the rotary cutter doohickeys on and stuff and, you know, use exacto knives and all of that pop shelf six bucks cheaper than walmart it's probably not the fancy schmancy brand or whatever but for me cutting my um the tops of my towels uh for my towel toppers it'll do and so when i went to walmart i got myself a little rotary cutter the cheapest one they had because that's all i really need i'm not doing anything fancy i am not a pro quilter or anything this will do this was like eight and a half bucks this was six bucks at pop shelf what else did i get at pop shelf well of course some snacky things the hubby didn't go in with me he was not feeling like walking around he's you know more than patient and willing to sit out in the car he's like no go have yourself a big time i said okay he's but bring me something all right uh maple pecans glazed mix these are really good i've had them before and i know that he will like them uh, let's see what else I got. Oh, I got us something. No, the hand is trying to take them. No, no, no. It's not time for that. No. Later, later. Okay. I uh, got us some chai latte. Basically, you add milk. You do this one-to-one -one with milk or with some milk substitute of your choice. And you have chai tea latte, which is yum, yum, yum. They had it there. So I got some. And I also got him something else that he'll come running over here for if he sees, so I'm not going to show him or say the word. I'm just showing y'all. And I got my... <laughs> oh, no, the hand is coming again. No! <laughs> and these are mostly for me. My Smarties are gone. It's okay. I got more stuff. Okay. I got, oh, oh, they have all their Valentine stuff on sale. So if you have a pop shelf near you, these were 30 cents. 30 cents, y'all. He took my pencils. Go sit down. Go. Next time you'll be trying to take my yarn. No. Oh, but this I did get more for you, but I will have some of it anyway. Kit Kat Dark. Like magic. I know you don't want this, though. This is a uh, paper, craft paper. He's even taking my craft paper, y'all. Did I not get him enough food tonight? We went to China Lin, our little one of our little Chinese places around here. We had lots of foods. Maybe it wasn't enough. I don't know. He's trying to eat my paper now. Ooh, scary. But there's more shopping. There's more stuff in my haul. Okay. Also, went to Walmart, as you heard before a minute ago. And I was walking past an aisle. Now I'll tell you about my other aisle walk past here in a minute. And I saw something that intrigued me. Starlight limited edition Coke. And these are the mini cans, which are like barely a slurp. But it is the Coke Zero stuff. And it says space flavored. What in the hell does space taste like? I'm going to find out once this gets cold. Here, hand. Put this in the fridge. Thank you. Um... So there's that. We'll be having some of that. And also, when I was at Walmart, he was already all the way over by the coffee creamers and stuff because we we were there mostly to eat coffee creamer and borax. I know that's a weird combination. It wasn't for them to go together. Borax for the laundry, coffee creamer for, you know, coffee, okay? And I had to go walk past the yarn because, well, you know, as one does. If y'all are yarnies, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You got to go check it out. And I, like y'all should be doing, anytime I'm in Walmart, I have the scan and check your price doohickey open on my phone because a lot of times it's wrong. So I always check the end caps because the end caps there, at least at our store, are notorious for being way off. Matter of fact, they had some hometown that's been wrong on an end cap for like a month now. They've got it marked 249. They actually scan 299 or more. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. I scan, scan, scan. None of them are that price. But they had this other stuff. The end cap price said 688. I know they were more than that before. 
but I picked one up and scanned it. And it said a dollar fifty. One dollar fifty cents. Yeah. For this. This is the squishy, squishy, lovely, wonderful chenille sparkle yarn. This is all the sparkle stuff. This is the mainstays. It says it's a six weight super bulky. I think it's more like a seven, quite honestly. It's huge and fluffy and wonderful. It says it takes a 25 millimeter hook, which I think I have one. If not, I will get one because I didn't just buy one. Oh no. Because when I was on the other side of the store, like I said, the hubby was near the coffee creamer. I was checking out the yarn. I had the big shopping cart, okay? I scanned every flavor, every flavor of this yarn that there was over there. Five of them were a buck fifty. The rest were any anything from six to nine dollars. Did I just take one of each? You know I don't have that kind of self-control. Don't you buy now if you've been here for a minute? No, I took them all. Every last flipping one of them. My cart was filled up and mounted over with yarn, okay? There's this color, this color. Hang on, let me get all the colors. I got one of each sitting next to me because I really didn't want to show you all 27, 27 balls of yarn. Okay, Ugh. all right. There's no good way to show you all of these at once. Okay, that's a lot, and that's just five of them. This color here is soft silver, and I know my light's blowing it out. That's a little bit better, okay? This one here, no, I'm not throwing it on the floor. I got a bag next to me. Don't even think I'd abuse my yarn like that, okay? This one here, same specs. Oh, I didn't tell you how much yardage or whatever is on here. Uh, these are eight ounces or 226.8 grams. 29 meters in each one. So yeah, it's a super bulky. It's a big one. So it takes a lot to do a job, right? Anywho, this one is color rich black. Yeah, it's rich. It's got silver sparkles in it. This one, same specs. It is aqua slate. This is a really neat sort of a light green color. Okay. It says aqua. I don't call that aqua. Anyhow, this one looks more peachy peachy pink it's called angel wing yeah whatever I mean does it look like a halo does it look like a wing no it's like a ball of yarn okay and this one is champagne no it's champagne but that's how it's spelled so that's how it should be said champagne this is champagne it is squishy it is like a taupey with that beautiful sparkle and this sparkle looks like it's gold Lots of sparkle, lots of blanket material, blanket fodder or something. If you got any ideas of what to make with this big A chenille yarn, let me know down below because apparently I bought all of it. All the sparkle anyway, those are the only ones that were on sale I noticed on that end cap. Yeah, people were walking by like, what is wrong with this woman? I was cackling and throwing these things in the buggy, okay? Cackling in the Walmart in Tacoa, Georgia because it's who I am, apparently. Anyway, thank you for joining me for this little mini haul, big haul. I don't know what this is. It's a haul, y'all. <laughs> and the hand has stolen all my candies and my cardstock and all kinds of stuff over here. I don't even know what he took and ran away with. At least he didn't get my yarn. I've got my yarn, y'all. <laughs> See y'all very soon. Bye now.